Hi, I'm Joel Kirschman of AWR, and I specialize in the product Visual System Simulator, VSS. And in this video, we'll have a brief overview of our phased array simulation capabilities. I'll look at a system diagram that comes with the installed product, or our project, I should say. The name of the project is called Phase Array. You can go here, File, Open Example, type in Phased Array, and it'll appear here as a selection. If we look at this, this uh, project here, uh, we'll note that we have um, three main components in the system diagram. We have an antenna model and two phased array antenna blocks. The antenna model here has been in the product for quite some time, and this is going to allow us to read in a uh, antenna pattern or a gain pattern. The phased array antenna model we've added to the product about uh, two years ago. The phased array antenna model gives you a uh, graphical user interface here where you can define the array geometry, whether it be rectangular, circular, or a user-defined geometry. Uh, you can apply a gain taper to the uh, pattern, whether it be Dolt Chevychev, Taylor, or Uniform. And one can go further into adding array imperfections, offsets in terms of gain and phase. And you can also do failure analysis, where you specify a random failure rate of X percentage of the array. Or you can specify specific elements in the array to fail and look at the resulting response. In this project, we have two renditions of the phased array model. In the first model, we will assume that all the elements are isotropic. In the second rendition of the model, we'll apply a particular patch to the elements of each of the array. In this simulation, we're running a 75-element uh, linear array, and uh, we are sweeping theta in uh, phi, and uh, we can look at the net results over here. If I look at this graph here, this is the antenna pattern for just one element of the 75-element array. And in the next graph here, in the antenna plot, I can look at the isotropic results. That means each element of the 75 element array is isotropic. And the red trace, that's where we apply the same patch to each of the 75 elements. Working with the phased array antenna model gives you a first-hand cut analysis of the array performance. I said that we can simulate element uh, failures and look at the resulting patterns. We can simulate yield analysis as well, and the model does support uh, frequency and uh, temperature dependency. About a year ago, we added a new model to the um, product, and this model uh, is our phased array um, file-based model. And uh, what that amounts to is that you have greater flexibility in defining your array. Uh, not only can you define your array rectangular, circular, or uniform as in the previous um, project, but you can now, using the phased array file-based model, define the characteristics of the RF link that's connected to the patch. So we're giving you further insight into the performance of array. In fact, you can have a full transceiver model for the array, for a full transceiver model for each element of the array. Well, in the previous block, phased array antenna, all you had to control was the gain and phase of each element. So if we look here at a text file that is used to configure phased array F, it, it amounts to you defining the array geometry. So this is a text line that you write in your data file, and you're indicating to VSS that please configure the array in a 4x4 four four array with a distance of uh, half a lambda between each element. And down here, you can define the characteristics of each element. In this case, we have uh, elements 1, 4, 13, and 16, referring to an antenna pattern. The antenna pattern is called corner. Moving on, the edge elements are referring to a different antenna pattern. And then the remaining elements in the center, the ones that are not defined as a number here, 
are reading in an antenna pattern called center. One additional thing that we did here is we defined each link that's connected to an element a designation of RFA and here we're indicating from this command line that we have an amplifier here of gain zero and a compression point of 100 dB. Mind you, this is just a placeholder and an illustration of how to work with this text file to um, configure the array. There's a lot more that can be done with this phased array model that's dependent on a text file. In, in this case, we are accounting for coupling by using uh, different antenna patterns for the corner, the edges, and um, the center of this 16 element array. And what it amounts here in terms of simulation results, we can look at the results of this 4x4 four four array where each element is isotropic. The red trace, we have the 16 element array and we apply the same pattern to those 16 elements. And the blue trace is the net result of that configuration file that I showed you where we applied a corner pattern, an edge pattern, and a center pattern accordingly to the 16 element array. And we can see the different variations of the results of the array. Again, this is just a brief overview of the current phased array simulation capabilities in VSS. I indicated to you that we can account for coupling. I indicated to you that um, using phased array F, you can get further details into how the element looks. And uh, one can go even further into these type of simulations and account for active impedance and uh, MIMO operations of an array. Thank you again, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you do look at the evaluation product of VSS, once again, upon evaluation, if you want to learn more about the phased array simulation capabilities, you'll go file open example, type in phased array, and you can look at the uh, two models that I spoke of in greater detail by looking at these two projects, as indicated.